the Brother John Carl Mateo ng JIL Church, Northfield, Montinupa. At sa umaga pong ito, uh, samahan niyo po ako sa isa pong maikling pag-aaral ng salita po ng Panginoon. Sa so, umaga pong ito, hayaan niyo pong ating pag-aralan. Ang uh, isa pong katuruan na may pamagat po na staying strong even in weakening times. Staying strong even in weakening times. Ang text po natin ay matatagpuan po sa Psalm 73 verse 25. Sabi po dito, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Ang Diyos po siya magpapala sa kanyang buhay at pagpainang salita. <clears throat> sa panungin po ito na kung saan lahat po tayo ay napapagod. Araw-araw ho tayo nagkatrabaho, nag-aaral, nag-aalaga na ating mga anak, may mga bagay ho tayong kailangan hong um, gawin at, at pagdaanan, tayo ho ay napapagod, lalo na ho ngayong mga panahon na to, that we are trying to recover, di ba sa cause ng pandemic or sa result ng pandemic, we are trying our, our very hard to establish our lives again. We sometimes feel weak, di ba? But alam niyo po, even though times like this are very weakening, nakakapanghina ho ang mga pangyayari sa atin pong um, kapaligiran, sa atin pong panahon, our God uh, desires His people to be strong, to stay strong. Sabi po ng Panginoon in John 16 verse 33, di ba? In this world, you will have troubles. Sa, sa, iba, sa iba po translation, you will have um, trials, troubles, persecutions. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Sa so, umangkat po ito, let's discover the four secrets on how we can stay strong how we can stay firm, even in times of weakening. Maging sa panahon po ng lahat ay nakapanghina, how can we stay strong? Apat pong sekreto, <clears throat> ang akin pong nais i-share, uno dito is to learn to trust in God. Learn to trust in God. Trust plays a huge role in our lives. Kung saan po natin inilalagay ang atin pong pagtitiwala, dun po tayong kumukuha ng lakas eh. Di mo ba? Trust plays a huge role in our lives. For to where we put our trust, there we get our strength. The Bible tells us to remember that everything comes from God, and everything will go to Him. Si David po, alam po natin siya, kilala po natin siya as a mighty warrior, a great king. Alam po niya that he can sustain his strength. Alam po niya na kahit gaano siya kalakas, kahit gaano siya kaliksi, kahit, kahit gaano po siya kabata, he can, he can sustain his strength. Darating at darating ang panahon na, tayo, na siya'y mapapagod. Kaya naman po malinaw ang kanya pong uh, tinuran sa Psalm 73 verse 25. Ang sabi ko doon, My flesh and my heart may fail. Pwede, di ba? Pwede ho na tayo ay manghina. Pwede ho na tayo ho ay mapagod. Pwede ho na tayo ay sumuko. Pwede ho yun eh. Pero alam mo ho, maganda ho yung sinabi niya, But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Tila baga ang sinasabi ho ni David, Oo, maaari akong mapagod, maaari akong magkamali, maaari akong um, ma- maging weak, fragile. But as long as the God is the strength of my heart, I will be strong no matter what happened in my life. Sa panahon pong ito na lahat ay uncertain, Lahat po pwedeng mawala bigla-bigla. Ang tanong ho ay, kanino ho natin um, inilalagak ang atin pong pagtitiwala sa atin pong Diyos? Sa atin pong pang-araw-araw ng buhay, isa lang ho ang, ang lawa na is, na, na is kong sabihin. Psalm 127 verse 1 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Sa panahon po na ganito ang atin pong sitwasyon, Matagpuan mo natin ating mga sarili na mas nagtitiwala sa ating Diyos because unless the Lord builds our life, unless the Lord builds our future, unless the Lord builds our um, resources, we will always be in vain. We can't survive this life without the Lord. Kaya po mahalaga that, that if we want to stay strong, if we want to stand firm, even in the midst of weakening times, we have to learn to trust God more than anything else. Sabi ho niya doon in, in, in Isaiah 40 verse 31, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Wow! Grabe ho ang ating Diyos. Those who put their trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Nawa po ngayong umaga, let's reevaluate the position of our trust. Kaan ho natin ipinagkakatiwala ang ating buhay sa, sa ating pong Panginoon. In times where everything seems to, to weaken us, learn to trust God more than anything else. Pangalawa po is to rest in His love by seeking Him. Sa panahon po na napapagod do tayo, saan po tayo pumatakbo? Sa panahon po na tayo hinapapagod, kanino po tayo nagsusumbong? Mahalaga ho, lalo na ho ngayon, lahat, halos lahat ng resort sarado. O, o kung hindi naman ho, eh, lahat po ng recreational activities ay bawal due to social distancing, di ba? due to the protocols happening around us. Ang tanong ho, eh, kanino ho tayo nag spend ng time kung sa, sa mga panahon po na tayo nahihirapan, na tayo po nangihina? <coughs> Rest in God's love. Sa, sa mga um, nakikinig po sa atin ngayong umaga, the Lord loves us so much. Gusto kong sabihin at gusto kong ulit-ulit uh, sabihin sa atin, 
mahal na mahal ho tayo ng atin pong Panginoon. Ang desire niya ho sa atin ay maging strong by putting our lives in Him, by trusting in Him, and by resting in His love, His great love. Sabi ho ni David in Psalm 63 verse 1 to 3, You God are my God, earnestly I seek you. Wow, I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and a parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld the power of your glory. Verse 3, napakaganda po. Because your love is better than life. Wow. Your love is better than life. Imposible pong manghina ang mga tao na ang kanila pong kapahingahan ay sa piling ko ng ating Diyos. Sabi ho na ating po Panginoon in, in Jeremiah 29 verse 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. So magawang ito, as we start our day, with the Lord, let's seek Him with all of our hearts. Hindi lamang po dahil kailangan, hindi lamang po dahil as um, sanabi ng pasto, na naniniwala ko ko, kayo po ngayon ay nakatune in dito because God wants you to uh, rest in His love. In all the battles of life, the best comforting place, the best resting place, the best recharging place is in the midst and in the presence of God's love. Matthew 11, 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Sa piling ho ng ating Diyos, meron pong tunay na kapahingahan. Sa piling ho ng ating Diyos, meron pong tunay na kagigawaan. Rest in His love by seeking Him. Sabi ho in Romans 8 verse 37, No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. Kapatid, we are meant to always conquer. But sometimes even conquerors need some quiet place to rest. And sa ating ho mga warriors ng Panginoon, our resting place is in God's presence in the middle of His love. Rest in His love by seeking Him. God is always available more than we could imagine. He is always there to listen, to love us, because He cares for us. He loves us. Pangatlo po, pangapat at ato po tapos na. Third secret on how we can stay strong even in weakening times is be assured by His promises. Di mo ba tayo, naalala ko pag yung mga bata, kapag ho sila ay nanghihina, ang laging sinasabi nila, eh, sabi ng mama ko eh, pangako ng nanay ko. Bakit ang, kapag ho ang bata, pinangakuan mo na, o kapag first honor ka sa school, ibibili ka talaga ganito, kakain tayo. Kahit gaano ho siya mapagod, eh, gagawin niyo ho ang kanyang best. Bakit? Siya ho'y assured ng pangako ng kanyang nanay. Ganun din ho tayo, the Bible is filled with promises of God that can strengthen us, that can establish our faith. Kaya naman ho, mga kapatid, let's read our Bibles. Let's memorize God's promises and commands. And let's be assured of His promises. For God's promises are always meant to be fulfilled. Lagi ko pong sinasabi, ang Diyos ho natin ay hindi Diyos na paasa. Siya ho ay Diyos ng pag-asa. Sapagkat kahit kailan, hindi po niya babaliin ng kanya pong mga pangako. Sabi ho in Psalm 119 verse 130, The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. It gives us the light of assurance. Sabi ho in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24, The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Kaya mga kapatid, don't belittle the scriptures that, that are hidden in your heart because the Lord will surely fulfill it. Ang Diyos ho natin, siya ho ay siguradong Diyos. Sa kanya ho mga pangako, siya ho ay sigurado. Sigurado ho na kanya tutugunin ang lahat mong ito. Sabi ho, Psalm 19 verse 7, The law of the Lord is perfect. Wow. Refreshing to the souls. Sabi po, The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The word of God refreshes our soul. Narinasan niyo na ho na habang nagbabasa ho tayo ng, ng Bible, umiiyak ho tayo, na, nakakasumpong ho tayo, nakapahingahan, ng lakas sa kanyang mga pangako. Sa panahon po na may sakit, ang kanyang pangako siya, ating tagapag, uh, dakilang tagapaggamot, dakilang doktor, dakilang manggagamot. Sa panahon po na tayo ho ay nagkukulang siya ho ang ating kasapatan. Yan ho ay kanyang mga pangako sa atin. Be assured of His promises. Kaya naman po kapatid, kung meron ho nanonood sa atin ngayon na meron pong sakit at, at, at may karamdaman, God is saying to you right now, He is your great healer. He is your great provider. He is with you. You are not alone. Be assured of His promises. In His words, there is strength. In His words, we can find strength and we can be strong as long as we have His words written in our hearts. Pang-apat at pang tapos na, reconnect our lives to Jesus. Reconnect our life to Jesus. Ang isa kong cellphone, eh, kahit gaano ko yun siya kaganda, kahit gaano ko yun siya ka-modern, darating ko ang panahon na kailangan niyo po siya i-charge. Same thing with us. We have to always reconnect our lives to Jesus because He is the source of our strength. He is the source of everything. He owns the world. He is the Lord. That's why, sa umaga ito, if you feel burdened, if you feel weak, 
If you're tired, exhausted, let's reconnect our lives to Jesus, mga kapatid. Sabi ho doon, John 15, verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me, says the Lord Jesus Christ. You can do nothing. Pero isa ho ang pangako ng Diyos sa mga uh, tao ho, ang buhay ay nakonect ako sa kanya. Philippians chapter 4, 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ, through Him, who gives me strength. Reconnect our lives to Jesus. Sa panahon pong ito, na lahat ho ay nakakapagod, wala ho exempted eh. Nanay, tatay, bata, di ho ba? Lahat po ang, ang, ang atin hong um, setting ngayon ay sobrang nakakapagod. But it is possible for us to stay strong because our God is a strong God. Our God is a firm God. Our God is a strong tower. And whoever will run to it, and, and when the righteous runs to it, he will be saved. As I conclude po, God is always there to sustain us and make us strong even in times of weakening. But it is a choice to whom we are going to put our lives. It is a choice. Ito ho ay choice. It is our choice if we're going to make Jesus the source of our strength, the source of our hope. It is our choice if, if we will always be assured of His promises. It is our choice if we're going to reconnect our lives to Jesus. It is our choice. Naha sa atin ho ang pagpapasya. Nawa ho ngayon, as, as we study God's words, masumpungan ho natin ang atin pong mga sariling sinasabi ho ang, ang katagang ito. No, no matter how um, exhausting life is, nawa ho ay mapunla ho ng Holy Spirit ang, ang, ang mga katagang pong ito sa atin pong mga bibig. God is the strength of my life and my portion forever. God is the strength of our lives and our portion forever. Shang Alfred, God marami pong salamat Sa umaga hong ito, muli pinausap niyo po kami, muli pinapalakas niyo po kami. God, here we are. We are weak. We are exhausted. Marahil po may mga kapatid po kami nakikinig ngayon. They are so in pain. They have gone through a lot, Lord. Maybe their strength is failing. But Lord, in you we can find strength and, and, and um, stability, firmness. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, would you release Lord, your, your sustaining grace sa buhay po na, naming lahat. Release, Lord, Lord, your power to be firm and to be strong even in this kind of times. We pray that may your words be alive and active upon the hearts and souls of your people. And Lord, whoever needs Panginoon ng pong healing touch, Lord, let the healing flow from the crown of their heads God, unto the very sole of their feet. If there are people who are now hopeless, Lord, let the hope flow in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the rest flow, O Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let, let your Holy Spirit minister to your people and allow your people, find your people strong, firm, stable, even in weakening times. Marami pong salamat. To you, we give you our life. To you, we entrust our lives, O God. Be the glory glorify and let your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name this we say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Muli po, ako po si Brother John Kern Mateo ng Jesus Lord Church, Norfield.